Hi everyone, this is Faye again. Now that we have our AR LCD up and running due to the quick start video, which you can find the link down below, we will be writing our own sketch. In this sketch, we will be using basic commands as well as creating widgets. With these widgets, we will link them so that they can work together. Let's get started. This sketch will have a simulation of a rocket going to Earth. So there will be a launch button, a countdown, and flashing colors with text telling us that we have lifted off, and also directions on what to do on the next screen. On this screen, we have an analog meter connected to a slider. So you can adjust the speed with the slider, which appears on the analog meter. And when you have reached a high enough speed, you have arrived to Earth. Okay, we need to set up our environment by first including our libraries which is easylcd.h and softwareserial.h. So just type it accordingly. Now we need to create our LCD object. So it'll be easylcd3 underscore sw and the pins that the easy LCD is connected to. So that will be pins 10 and 11. Now we need to write our setup and loop functions. Make sure they have the parentheses and the brackets. First thing we're going to do in the setup loop function is write lcd.begin easy and baud rate. Without this, the file will not compile. We are now setting the font we are going to write in. You can see the different types in the font example in the AR LCD library. In the setup function, we want to initialize string and colors for the widgets. You create RGB color schemes for the widgets by using the theme command. Before we continue, let's go over the parameters for the theme command. You start off by declaring the theme ID, which allows you to create multiple themes so that your widget can have varying color schemes. Next is the dark and light emboss color, which gives your widget more dimension. Text color 0 is when the widget hasn't been activated. Text color 1 is when the widget is being used. Text color disabled is when the widget is disabled. Color 0, color 1, and color disabled are the main colors of the widget. Background color and font ID. Next, I'm going to quickly fill in the themes for the button, analog meter, and the slider. Next, we are going to clear the screen color to black and set the color to white. So anything we draw or write will be white until we specify another color. The name of the colors need to be capitalized. Now we are going to make the strings that we are going to use in the demo. To set up a string, you start with the ID and what it is going to say. Make sure that the string is in a set of double quotes. We are now going to create our launch button, which is shown in the screen above. First, make the text. You could use the command print, which will draw the text on the AR LCD. But I'm going to use print ln, which prints on a new line every time. Now let's create the button. The parameters for these are ID, X position, Y position, width of the button, height of the button, option, and option determines whether it is toggled, disabled, pressed, or unpressed, alignment of the button's text, radius of the edges, theme ID, and string ID. We have to include a while loop here so that the text above doesn't repeatedly print since it is in the loop function. This if statement basically says if the button is pressed, then do the following, where 1 equals true. For the launch sequence, we want to do a countdown, then flash red and yellow for blast off. So make a for loop to count down from 5 to 0. Each time it loops around, clear the screen and print the number. 
Make sure to have a delay so the changes aren't instantaneous. Then create a new loop which will cycle five times to clear the screen yellow and red. The next part is pretty much repeats of previous commands we have done. Clearing the screen, setting fonts, delays, and printing. On to the tricky part of the sketch, which is connecting the analog meter to the slider widget. So create the widgets first. Parameters for the analog meter are ID, X position, Y position, width, height, option, initial value, which is where the needle would be pointed at, max value, theme ID, string ID, and type. There are three different types of analog meter you can choose from, full, half, or quarter. Next is creating the slider. Parameters for it are ID, X position, Y position, width, height, option, max value, increments, initial value, and theme. Then set the value of slider to a variable. I'm going to call it speed. The parameter for get widget value is the ID of that widget that you want the value from. While slider value is less than or equal to 8000, get the value of the slider. Then change the widget value of the analog meter. The parameters for W value is the ID of the widget you want to change and the new value you want to give it. For the last screen, we want to have the image of an earth appear and text saying, hello. Now make sure to have the image downloaded and copied into the easy users images file in the AR LCD. Now clear the screen and print the picture using the image command. The parameters for it are file name, X position, Y position, and options. Options are one, two, and three. One being center alignment, two being scale image down to the size of the screen, and three being both one and two. Now the finishing steps. Set the font, plot X, Y position, and print Hello Earth. Before you can upload it to your AR LCD, make sure it is connected to the Arduino IDE. And verify or check the code to see if it compiles. If there are mistakes, go back and fix it. You are now ready to upload it.